Hello children, good morning. So I think this is first interaction with you. Uh, so my name is Manesha. I'm working as a pre-primary educator in Amy. So you know me as a teacher. Okay. Apart from that, can anybody guess what else I do? Baking. baking. So today I'm here to share my baking journey story, how I started, when, how, where and why. Okay. So during the pandemic time, so I'm a teacher before the pandemic also. So during the pandemic time, we used to have only three to four hour session with the children. So after that, I used to find lots of time with myself, like I was done with my home, like household work, school work, everything. So I have lots of time. So what I did, I started uh, th uh, like scrolling the Instagram and find, uh, trying to find out what I can do else and how can upgrade myself, my skills and all. So I was really inspired by a page where a home baker was doing a really good job from the home only. She don't have any uh, like bakery or something like that. She was doing everything from home and she's training the people also from home only. So like from that, uh, I spent very good time, like two to three hours in her page only looking all her videos, how she started her journey initially and how she was flourishing. So I just done, ha I have done some research visiting other pages also like how they have started their journey as a home baker will this really works so i have done some research and have gathered the information then i started uh, having a conversation with my family my parents everybody so this is uh, one thought i am getting so how it works like before i start i just want to discuss will it work or how i have to start and all so uh, my family said that uh, your thought is really good but the thing is uh, as a baking uh, like you have to do it is as a hands-on activity because you have to measure everything and the person who is teaching you should be with you. So uh, they said that it's a good idea but right now this is a pandemic time you can't do uh, like hands-on uh, things. Uh, so they said that you can do it later. So that is how the thought is there. Everything research was done how to do what to do and all but it was not taken the first step. So that is how the thought came into my mind like let us let me try something else apart from my teaching and why i choose this baking is like uh, from the childhood i have this interest for art and craft so creative it's uh, like i love to design new things and i love to put my thoughts into artworks so this is little bit related to baking also where customers will give an idea that this is the event and i want to look my cake in this way so uh, so everything was done, but I didn't took my first step. So after pandemic, I again went back to my job. I was doing my job. Everything is good. I have changed schools also. Later, last year, last year what happened is, in the beginning of the year, I lost my voice and I couldn't speak. It was very like, I like my voice was totally changed. Uh, and uh, like as this voice is related to, related to my profession, so I couldn't speak. So it was a big challenge for me and it's very horrifying thing for me like what if I can't speak. I can manage at my home with all signs and all but what about my profession. This made me to think like what else I can do apart from teaching profession. So uh, like again I started discussing with my family they said you are doing well you take rest and when I went to doctor doctor said I have to take at least two to three months voice rest. So that was really, really horrifying for me. Later, I discussed with my parents and my family also. My sister is the one who supported me and motivated me. Okay, try this. You have already done all the research work about this baking and all. Why can't you try this? So uh, like I was uh, searching online where classes will happen and all. And luckily, I could find a place where baking institute is there in Bijavada itself. And they conduct one day workshops. So what I did is, uh, like I approached her and I told that by profession I'm a teacher and I do I want to learn baking and all so man said you attend one workshop with us so that you will get an idea so I attended that workshop it was really really helpful for me to build my confidence and it is one day workshop like so much of information I have gained from that workshop later I attended multiple workshops in and around Vijayawada like Guntur there are so many home bakers and the good point is wherever I learned everybody is a home baker they don't have any in particular bakery or something like that they do classes from their home they do online sessions everything so I have attended multiple things so now I have got little idea like how to bake and all but how I can start so uh, baking is something which we need a particular oven, OTG oven and all. So I don't have, 
and when I search online, it is very costly, like around 26,000 something like that. So what I did is, so there is another option also, we can bake the cakes in the cooker also, like how we cook the food and all in that cooker also. So uh, like uh, I didn't took much time to start the thing. I have learned the skill, but I have to do it in a practice way. So I was just waiting for the right moment to whom I should make my first cake. So I didn't buy any oven or something like that. I just started with minimum of like, it's just 5,000. I just want to mention the amount also. I just invested 5,000 for basic equipments like uh, hand blenders and all, like bowls and little material and all. After that, I started baking in the cooker only. I didn't bought the oven because I'm not uh, like having that amount and I'm not having that confidence how it works further. So I started, so my first cake was, I was just waiting for the moment to whom I should do. So then one of my good friend uh, in, uh, in the school only, Farzana Ma'am, her birthday came. So I baked my first cake for her uh, in this journey. So uh, like I brought the cake and I just uh, gave a surprise to her. It's really a surprise for her because I never told anybody that I'm learning baking. So all of a sudden I brought that cake and she was very happy and we cut the cake. That event went very well. After that, one of my colleagues, she asked me, ma'am, the cake was really good. Why can't you bake for everyone? I just didn't start it. I didn't brought the cake for an intention to give this thing. But I just waiting for the moment, good moment. How can I start my first cake? So one of my colleagues asked, like, can you bake a cake for my daughter? So that is how my first order came from my friends only. And uh, for, for uh, like yesterday is 23rd. So by yesterday, I have completed my one year of baking journey. <laughs> and I have done uh, more than uh, 100 cakes now. And my uh, strategy of uh, thing is like, I didn't do any publicity. I just used to keep status in my WhatsApp. So that is how people used to get to know how I bake the cakes and all. And even school also supported me during children's day. Like I got a very good order. Like it's a bulk order of around 600 cupcakes. So that is a big motivation for me to start my career and all. So it's not myself. Like I want to um, thank the people around me who supported me and motivated me. Like you can do it. You are doing it really good. Why can't you start everything and all? So like that I have started. Uh, in this journey, uh, so this is the reason like the need made me to upskill myself. So I am a teacher by profession, everything is going good, but the need like uh, uh, I have lost my voice. So then that made me to think what can I do else apart from teaching. So that is how I started my baking journey uh, later. So I said, this is my first cake I have done to my friend, Rasmala cake. Uh, yeah, just uh, have a look at this information. So why it is important to have more than one skill for everybody? So everybody will be good at their jobs, but why it is important to have multiple skills? For the coming generation, it is not enough for us to have only one skill. We should be uh, like upgraded or uh, equipped with multiple skills. We don't know how our future leads to which way. So if you have multiple skills, we unknowingly that will help us to lead our life sometimes. And uh, one more thing is never stop yourself trying new things. It's okay if you fail also, but try 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 new things try hundred of things but in that just see what makes you happy when you're doing it so try multiple things it's absolutely fine to like output might come or might not come but you have to give it a try this was the one word my father used to tell me always if it is not related to you also just learn how it works so that is very good thing i just want to convey to you also and uh, starting a new business doesn't read much investment also. Like as I said, I didn't started uh, with buying a fancy oven or something like that. Whatever the amount I gained as a profit, pulling that amount, I have bought my oven also. Now I'm baking an oven. <laughs> and it is all about, it is all about how you plan your business, how you start your business and you, how you put your first step towards, you, towards it. It's just that putting your first step towards that, 
there are people around around you will bring you down and like give you the support it's up to you what you take into your mind somebody will tell you can't do it won't work somebody will tell try it so it's always what you take into your mind and how you implement it and and the other one is confidence and consistency as alaki also mentioned consistency is always important for me also i won't get baking orders regularly or continuously or sometimes i won't bake a cake in whole month but the thing is like there is a saying like if you can't run walk if you can't walk at least crawl so don't stop your journey so that is what i want to tell consistency is more important